It's time for chaos. I'm not even sure which direction to go. Uh, northwest. North there's northeast. Honestly, like you can get lost for a minute because like there's only actually one way you can go. <laughs> okay. But, like look how the area around Midgar is. And as soon as you start walking a little bit away. Oh yeah, it's pretty. The, it starts getting there. brighter. Yeah. Because it's it's supposed to be really showing how much damage the Mako reactors are doing. I can't wait to fight Hellbiker. <laughs> I want to see what this thing's going to look like in Remake so bad. <laughs> that would be really interesting. It's so stupid, I love it. <laughs> Watch it be a boss like Hell House was. That'd be, be really the hardest boss in that game. <laughs> Open the calm. This is calm. I'm not calm right now, I'm freaking out! No, no, Cloud, Cloud, that's the name of the town. We don't care Michelle, how you feel. Okay, I... I guess we just made ourselves at home, huh? Freeloaders. You know what? I guess I am late. It's been a little bit since the last stream, so technically we are running late. Freaking Aerith and Red 13 have been here this entire time since we ended the last stream. Yeah. She's like, wow, you guys are really slow. We were waiting for like a week. Jeez, By the way, you guys get lost? A skill. Used to want to be like Sephiroth, so I joined Soldier. We became friends. Call that a friend. Well... I mean, he's gonna tell you what happened. I guess you call us War Buddies. Oof. Oh god, I can't wait till we get to Tifa's house. It's genuinely my favorite part of the flashback sequence, because it's so freaking funny. Oh man, that poor sor that poor uh, Shinra got grunt. <laughs> He's having a real rough day, isn't he? Yep. Yeah. He's not feeling all right. Keep an eye on him. He has a really rough time this whole segment here. It would be funny if it wasn't. <laughs> if it wasn't fricked. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is Sephiroth backstory, so you know shit's gonna happen. Well, no! Yeah. What? You mean the main bad guy is gonna have a really tragic One of the backstory? famous, most famous villains in history! Pretty much up there with, like, Vader. I'd, yeah, I'd say Sephiroth's I mean, He's as close Vader. to iconic as an RPG character can get to Darth Vader. A question for you, Danny. Do you mm. think they'll let us play as Sephiroth for this part of Remake? God, Jesus I think so. Frick. That would be freaking awesome. Also, I love this version of Sephiroth's theme. Like, it's oh, honestly yeah. more ominous than One Winged Angelus. Oh, Cloud down. Oh yeah, the, for, this those seems who, uh, the th for those who the plan is chosen, I think. Like, it's not a banger, but it's so ominous, it's cool. Oh no, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. One's like the horror theme, one's the action theme. The closest remake ever gets to this is the track I'm Waiting Cloud. It's the closest remake ever gets to achieving that level of just ominous. Well, I think they remade that specific theme and it was pretty it was pretty unsettling. Yeah, I'm Waiting way Cloud is it. basically that theme. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and this is re uh, the original, so we haven't got to heard uh, them drop the beat with Genova yet either. Not yet. That one's a bop, and it really shouldn't be considering what you're fighting, but <laughs> it does a good job of being creepy at the same time. Mm -hmm. I love how, like, the flashback cloud, like, turns around and talks to Barrett. The flashback cloud turned around and is like, what? <laughs> oh my god, I, I love I'm that trying. kind of humor. <laughs> you know what? That's the damn headless spook living in the Shinra building! Yeah, it had an eye on its chest. That was very awkward. Mm-hmm. And, you know, no head. My God, she ships it. Kind of hard. She ship it because she wants. She wants to. Uh, <laughs> like it's definitely. It's very heavily implied, especially in remake. The Aerith wants Cloud. To a sort of unhealthy degree. Well, God dang it, Aerith, yeah. you stalker. Like it's sort of like it's not stalking so much as like it feels like Aerith wants Cloud to replace something that's missing in her life. Zach. Yes. Zach. I wasn't sure if you knew that Zack and Aerith were together. I think we kind of talked about it in, during BBS. Because we're oh, making yeah, okay. fun of Zack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Aerith used to date Zack, and it's pretty heavily implied that Aerith sees Cloud as a potential replacement for Zack in Remake. Which makes sense. And she's sort of trying to force him into it, which is part of why I still go for Tifa. Even though Aerith is a much better than she was in this game. Mm -hmm. Fathead! Okay, that was kind of weird and disassociating. I, I think if you go upstairs, you continue plot, so don't do that till you walk into Tifa's house, because, like, that's the no. best part of the flashback sequence. Okay, so Tifa specifically got martial arts training from this bastard. Yeah. Yep. Let's go ball. All right, let's go find. Should be a hard ass. I mean, I know exactly which house is hers. So. Well, this is just a bar. This is clearly not Tifa's house, unless I would explain yeah. a lot about Seventh Heaven. That'll piss me off. <laughs> Flashback Cloud wandered into a place like Cloud. Real Cloud's like, wait, have I been in here? And Barrett's like, come on! I think the top house is Cloud's house, and you'll get a short little thing with his mother, which is optional. Top house? This one? Yeah, I think that one's Cloud's house. And then the next one down is Tifa's, because Tifa's the girl next door, literally. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't just like a girl next door character. She literally lives next door. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they do a lot of that weird cutting part when, with the scene where he's talking to his mother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, his brain is battered and bruised, stitched together with all sorts of bullshit. Pretty sure it was a blended <laughs> I'm sorry, she said, I bet the girls never leave you alone. No, that's not till Remake. God help him in Remake. I mean, cut that. Cut to that scene in Remake where uh, 
Aerith and Tifa are both scared of the ghosts in the train graveyard, so they're both hanging on to each of his arms. And you literally have to pull away from them to continue the game. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah. That sounds I, funny. First time I played that, I thought they were going to walk with Cloud into the building hanging on to him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it would be even... It would be amusing if they did that. Oh just my like God. Like it. <laughs> that one of the things that I didn't really know was part of Tifa's personality until remake is that she's apparently terrified of the supernatural. So the trade graveyard fucks her up. So Makoto. Kinda, Essentially. yeah. Like she's really tough most of the time, but as soon as the supernatural gets involved. Yeah. Cloud. Did you go into my house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Find my home. You're damn right I did. Right, the next the next step of the joke is going upstairs. Oh no! Oh no no no! Cloud, did you go into my room? <laughs> okay, this Her room's the one with the piano. Cloud. Cloud? <laughs> did you go into my room? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll play the piano. Yeah. <laughs> Did you play my piano? <laughs> I, I jammed on it. <laughs> How did this go? <laughs> All right, so this is a, the, the same mini game that you can do later is here, but it doesn't do anything right now. You can just play notes. <laughs> later on, if you can play Tifa's theme on this, you get her final limit break. <laughs> That's silly. It is. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. That seem... Okay, that... Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just moved the control stick and it decided, yep. That's cursed. So, yeah, you're playing the keyboard on the keyboard? No, I... Okay, next, was... no, next, go to her shelf. Go, go to her shelf. This is the last one I'm aware of when you when you interact with her uh, cupboards. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know you could interact with the letter. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see. I remember. Wait, so are we three for three with streams of doing something you didn't know? Uh, I always stopped after the what thing I'm thinking of, because I usually just said no because I wasn't going to take it that far, but the fact that you can is always hilarious to me. Oh, this is a long letter. <laughs> Yeah, interact with her cupboard there. Excuse <laughs> there, me! That's the worst one. Excuse me! Received orthopedic underwear. I... Wow! <laughs> Just kidding, don't get mad. <laughs> That's the one I picked. Oh. I was like... Cloud. Cloud. <laughs> We're talking about something serious here. <laughs> oh my god! I love that so much. It's so hilarious. Oh. Like, because it's the idea that he would tease Tifa at this serious point in time. It just shows what a goofball Cloud actually is. Mm -hmm. You could probably do like a reading of it as him trying to cut the tension with a joke, but it does also seem like just a goofball thing to do. Oh yeah. Wow, they like are... he he, tr okay, he tries to play the cool guy, but that's not who he is. <laughs> he wants. Me. He's trying his hardest to be cool, which is why he acts like an ass so much. He thinks that what that's what cool is. Oh, those little bastards were not upstairs a second ago. Jinra. Jinra. Salsa. Salsa. I mean, Sephiroth's probably gonna kill the monsters. I mean, dude, literally you, yeah, you literally can't kill any of the monsters here because Sephiroth 
is yeah, they have too much HP and Sephiroth will always kill them before you can even get damage off on them. Yes. I think that's the last of what you can do without talking to Sephiroth in the hotel. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check with the silver-haired bastard and see what he's doing. He's not a bastard yet. No, right now he's just having a he's having a taste of despair. Eh, yes, I'm more of a despair. peach guy myself. Fair enough. You know, I brought I brought these pears for everyone. That is definitely not foreshadowing for anything. He just likes pear. Good morning, good morning. morning. Well, Tifa in a cowboy hat. There, yeah, there it is. Cowboy hat. One of these days, I'm going to rewatch the uh, anime that covered this segment because last time I watched it, I watched it before I'd actually played any of Final Fantasy VII and I had no idea what was going on. Oh, that's. But Tifa was in this outfit for the whole anime. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help but picture the Sonic OVA where Knuckles just randomly has a cowboy hat. I mean, it's kind of that. It makes a little bit of sense considering where they live. Like, it's supposed to be really hot here and they're about to go mountaineering. Yeah, that's, that that's, that's reasonable. That's fair. Well, that's, that's at least a fitting outfit for what she's doing. True. Like, Eva usually dresses for the situation because her usual outfit is the bartender's outfit. So it's sporty and easy to move in. And then for Advent Children, she's running a more high class area. So she's got a longer outfit on. Makes yes. Sense. Big dress for the occasion. That's this is a fricked up looking mountain. Yeah, like really this is. mountain looks evil. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Oh well, shit. Oh crap. Oh, well, we died. That's oh, the, the Photoshop people <laughs> fell off the bridge. <laughs> oh no. Cute cloud narrating, and then everyone died, and then Barry and Tifa are yelling at them. That's not what happened! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so like Persona 5 when you mess up. Yes! <laughs> oh man. Gary died. Now we're just left with Barry. <laughs> did, he just, did he die? Did you die? I Sadly, think he yes. does. Like they never tell you what happened to the other Sinra soldier. Oh. Oh, well, this is awkward. This is a four-person party. I mean, only Sephiroth and Cloud can participate in battle, and Cloud's never gonna get a hit off. What? Because like, look at that HP. Oh my God, Cloud's got the spirit, but that's literally it. You got the spirit, but Sephiroth got the power. Zaga. Jesus, my dude, you I mean, I believe you can eventually get access to every skill he uses in this section of the game. A mysteriously colored cave. Because makeup. Okay, that checks Muffle. out. I always say Mako like the shark. Yeah. I, I thought it was uh, Mako, but they pronounce it Mako. Yeah, they don't see a picture of the station. I mean, how else were you going to know until it was voice acted? Bear. Mako Fountain. Mako Fountain, sorry. This is going to be... This is going to be... A eh, day. it's whatever. Eh, I'm pretty sure no one's going to do that. Ain't all about it. At least no one in chat. Maybe someone uh, on Twitch might, but no one here will. 
Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think that's the least offensive mispronunciation I've ever gone through with. I mean, I don't think you'll ever top Zion. I'm <laughs> never going to use Zion again. I think to this day you're still apologizing. At least you now understand why I was so offended when you called her that. <laughs> yes, I do. version of Sephiroth that can laugh, tell jokes, and fond memories. Well, I don't know about fond, but, uh, memories he finds funny. God, how alien is that gonna be in voice acting when you get to this section in Remake? I am really looking forward to this. I feel like this is gonna yeah. be the tutorial of Remake. Ooh, like, it's a perfect okay. excuse a, for a tutorial. I mean, I hell of a tutorial. Yeah, this would be a perfect tutorial section for Remake, too. Yeah. Really good one. Like Sephiroth will do all the heavy lifting while they tell, and he'll, he'll they'll just have te Sephiroth remind you how battle works. Mm -hmm. Like this area is really uh, railroaded anyway, so they would fit perfectly for a tutorial, and regardless. Oh yeah. I'm shocked Tifa didn't just punch the guy out and follow us in anyway. I mean. Tifa hasn't completed her training yet, so I don't know how good a fighting she'd be. You yeah. know what? That's fair. Neom. Um. Uh, sir, you're the chain is a ladder. Come back. Where did I go? Where'd you go? Can you just keep going? <laughs> Okay, get on that little rafter on the left. Yeah, oh, you can walk on, on that rafter, rafter to the chain. Yeah. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Yes. Ah, perspective. Perspective. Isometric. That's gonna be like the running joke in this game, the whole game. Just Very perspective much. decking with us the whole time. Yeah. Well, this doesn't look dangerous at all. What well, happens if you look in the wrong way? I don't think it'll let you until Sephiroth goes first. Genova. Oh now, Silverman. How disrespected would Sephiroth be if we called him Virgil? I don't know who that is. That's a DMC character. I love how like they have a little stumpy Sephiroth climbing up to it. Like he'll probably be able to just casually peer through those when we get to remake part two. I like the idea of just the full oh. 3D model Sephiroth, complete with scowl, like awkwardly like, shambling up to look into it. And a head taller than Cloud in remake. So, so it's probably gonna be Cloud that awkwardly climbs up to look at it. Yeah. Yeah. monsters you fight and remake towards the middle-ish. Are these supposed to be them? I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what it's supposed to be. Alright. Like, I was never really sure what those were supposed to be, because they didn't really look like anything I fought in the original game. But they were coming out of these pods. Oh, God. He's as bad with computers as Roxas. Yeah, except Roxas did more damage to the computer he slashed out. That's true. Isn't Masamune supposed to cut through anything? It's not angry enough? I think in the anime they changed this to punching the things instead of slashing at them. 
Oh, yeah. Well, that's just horrific. Like Sephiroth's frustrated because their origin reminds them him them of him, reminds him of his own origin. Makes sense. Aeth and Mako and no longer human. Okay. So it's essentially yeah. just Am I human? Don't really understand what Sephiroth meant. Yeah, so the, you're just starting to see the Yeah, this is this is the this is the first man. thing that starts to tip Sephiroth off his rocker. The existential dread. <laughs> talking. It's like, dude, do you need a break from the flashback? A no. really long flashback. No. That's why they give this to you. This is like what an hour long flashback. Uh, it's already been like half an hour since the stream started. And yeah, I think we, we got another 30 to 40 minutes left at the flashback. <laughs> Chain of memories. When you walk away, you don't hear me say, please, oh, baby. No, God damn okay. it. It's the mansion at the edge of town. It's always the mansion at the edge of town. Yes, the it's Shinra mansion. The mansion. Yeah, like, that was a big 90s thing. <laughs> Isn't that it's literally old. the plot of Resident Evil 1? Yeah, actually. Man, that would have been actually a, that would have been an interesting. Hey, Sephiroth, well, get out of Nominee's room. I mean, we fight weird enough monsters in Final Fantasy to fit in Resident Evil. Yeah, so we just need Final Fantasy Biohazard. Well, the one thing I didn't really like about Final Fantasy 15 was when it tried to be a horror game. Wait, it tried to be a horror? What? When you go into dungeons, it slows you down to a snail's pace and it jump scares you a lot. Rude. Interesting. Like the one thing I don't like about Final Fantasy XV when it tries to scare you. Look at all these drugs. Or I'll let you wander for a little bit and if you can't figure it out, I'll tell you how to get to the moving on the plot. It is somewhere in this game. <laughs> oh, well, there's like, I think you should be able to find it, but... There's a chance he won't. Okay, so Sephiroth came into this room, meaning there's a secret passage. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course. I wonder if the switch is in a different part of the room. Oh, I don't think it's that complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's not Oh, that was hard. That's not complicated <laughs> at all, actually. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you turn on select and uh, it showed the obvious triangle. Zeron 63A. Actually, Resi 1 was a mansion in the woods, not at the edge of town. Oh, well, thank you. The only Resi game I've played was, uh, 7. So, I wasn't sure. I don't play horror games at all. I did it for my yeah, first well. October of streaming, uh, last year. Yeah, but that makes sense, because it was like a mansion off in the woods. Until they did the you whole can't go in there yet. Yeah. You'll be back here way later, and you can go yeah. in there then. Yeah, then it was uh, Raccoon City. And well, Sephiroth's been uh, having a nice read Sephiroth, for the past week. <laughs> are you making meth in here? <laughs> Professor Gas named the organism Chinova. X, X, X. Chinova confirmed being an ancient Chinova. So you're starting to connect and see what the reactors are really for. At the yeah, least Sephiroth the start. is basically, he's starting to learn too much. D does he have like And considering how he feels here? about himself, it's destroying him inside. It's like, the more he discovers how little left of his humanity there actually is, the more crazy he's getting. I wonder if he's just letting himself be consumed by the fact that he doesn't think he's human. And like, that's basically it, yeah. Yeah. So, he's... like, that's the way I'm seeing it at the moment, and that may be proven wrong, is that he believes himself not to be human, and that's what's sending him down the road of becoming a villain. Yes. Essentially. Yeah. That's essentially it, yeah. You're like, on... Sephiroth is actually really tragic when you think of it in that light. Yeah. Well, he starts tragic, but, like, by the end of it, there's no... I don't feel bad for this character at all by the end of this. Yeah, game. no, yeah. 
maybe right here and only right here. <laughs> but then afterwards, uh, yeah, but later on, it's like, yeah, no, he needs to die. He's a really cool villain, but he's not a sympathetic villain. Nah. Okay. I think Darth Vader pulls off being a tragic villain better than Sephiroth does. I don't want to let you be alone, Sephiroth. I want to harass you until we progress the plot. <laughs> you have to leave him alone to progress the plot alone. Yeah. Shit. He didn't come out of the mansion. Watch the pile of books. Like, he's, he's having a nice read for a good month. He, he's absolutely got one of those conspiracy board things going. Do you need to read as if you were possessed by something? And not once did the light in the basement go out. I guess Mako Energy is decently self-sustaining. Imagine if a light bulb had gone out. He would have uh -oh. murdered something. The scary yeah. music's playing. Oh, well, speaking of murder... Also, also, I don't think it. Remake does these bell tones as good as original does. This is like... Those are heavy bells. Well, these are definitely meaty bells, so it's a little bit... It is a little bit louder and more intense. Well, the, the bell tone and the heartbeat, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. Sephiroth seems different. I forgot how long it takes till it starts to drop the beat. <laughs> uh, probably once you... Certain thing happens. Yeah, it might be waiting till you walk in the room. Okay. That, uh -huh. that was evil laughter if I've ever heard it. I think he's losing it. He doesn't even have a Listen. cat to pet, but he looks like a Bond villain. Traitor. Traitor? I literally have done nothing. You ignorant, ignorant traitor. traitor. The planet originally belonged to the Cetra. Cetra was the inherent race. They would migrate and settle in the planet, then move on. I'm not going to keep reading this. This is a lot of exposition, actually. <laughs> it's like Journey. It's like like I mean, we'd be more than happy to voice, but I'm pretty sure we're trying to get through as much as we can. <laughs> it's not really fun to voice exposition, and this is a lot of exposition. Fair enough. Don't you see? Okay, so you're an alien bat baby, so what? That's too baby. We all had to come from somewhere. <laughs> yes, I'm an alien bat baby. <laughs> I imagine him like saying that with a just a huge <laughs> grin. Like, He's walking out in a huff. <laughs> He's like, yes, Cloud, I am a bat baby. Out of my way, I'm going to see the read that last one. Going to see there my mother. This is, a, this is a bad idea. Is this when Nibelheim is on fire? I think the music tells you already. Yeah, we're about to see something tragic. mother just died. Yeah. I think Jerry over there is okay. He's just unconscious. Oh, here it is. One of the most famous scenes. They even parody it in Smash Brothers. Well, it's 
Yeah. Yep. I mean, this scene is iconic. Yeah, that's his win animation in Smash. Yeah, it's a refer it's a reference to this scene. That's actually horrifying, because that implies he just slaughters everyone in Smash and burns their village and walks away. Yep. Essentially. It's been so much fun having context. Hey, God. Sephiroth! Where the creepy music go? Sephiroth, you son of a bitch! Yeah, now you gotta follow Sephiroth down. Ah, perspective. I am gonna kick your ass. I mean, probably not. I'm gonna try to kick your ass. That sounds far more likely. I'm gonna beat a motherfucker <laughs> with another motherfucker. Oh, remember that cutscene from earlier? Oh, or yeah. A little intro yep. You're now seeing context. Sephiroth, soldier, Akariakos, Shinra, I'm sick. Oh, it's I hate this all in this version. I'm thinking of the remake quotes. Oh, yeah, she straight up grabs Masamune with intent to stab yeah. Sephiroth with it. She tries, she tries to murder Sephiroth with Masamune. You know what? Respect. I mean, I understand completely. Imagine if she'd done it. That would suck. Because then it's like, how the hell did he survive that? Frankly, how did she survive that? I think in the anime they changed it to a stab and she has a scar uh, that she keeps like around her thigh that you couldn't really see under most situations. Makes sense. I'm sorry, is he putting her in a Mako vat to heal her? No, oh, he's just okay. moving her to the side so that she'll be safe after okay. he goes to take care of Sephiroth. That makes a lot more sense, because that would have been horrifying. Y yeah. Well, it's time to fucking die. Well, look, Genova has its head. Oh, nice. God, this track's so ominous, I love it. Sephiroth, you, you kind of murder, like, all of the people. Uh -huh. They've come again, mother. Yeah, superior knowledge, power, knowledge, and magic. Those fools. They... Those worthless creatures. Are stealing the planet from Mother. But now I'm here with you. So don't worry. Sephiroth, you mad bastard. Say hello to Genova. Complete Genova specimen. So yeah, so he completely lost his Yeah, Sephiroth's completely off his rocker. Well, time to die. Granted, the fact that people survived that- Wait, wait a minute, there ain't there no more? <laughs> God damn it, remember, son. I'm just imagining Barrett like eating stop popcorn at a cliffhanger. during this, and then he just throws the bag of popcorn at Cloud when he can't finish. Yeah. <laughs> You'll catch your ending when you buy the second remake. <laughs> I mean, Sephiroth is clearly not dead. We saw evidence of that with freaking Masamune there. I'm alive, too. Yeah, granted, the fact that Tifa lived is wild. Yep. Yes, but clearly something went down between Cloud and Sephiroth, but they're not telling us entirely about it yet. Yeah, there's... Yeah, oh. It's intentionally, like... 
yeah there's some missing pieces like yeah and they're, it's continuing to go on with like something's wrong with cloud's memory and you've been seeing it here and there where there's inconsistencies and whenever one of these inconsistencies pull up like the screen goes white and cloud just goes eh not important Okay, so Barrett legitimately was like, this is too much exposition, and ran. Yeah, that was a lot of exposition. <laughs> uh, pretty freaking bad, I have to imagine. Like, you were, you were probably super freaked up. So I'm not sure if you know this, but Tifa is kind of... Diva is kind of questioning your merit to the story. Yeah, yeah. She, she's probably like, how did I survive? There's a little bit more to that. Like, Tifa, she's confused by parts of your story. Mm hmm Man, I wish I could stay in a hotel for $20 a night. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure what the deal would be. Worth, it'd be worth a bit of the US dollar, but. That would make living expenses a lot easier. 20 bucks a Either that, well, either that or Midgar really does have the crappiest economy. Actually, this is a Japanese game, so it's probably 20 yen a night, and 20 yen is much less than a dollar. That's like two bucks. That's true. No, no, that's 20 cents. That's true. I keep forgetting the exchange. It's like 100, not 10. Yeah, I mean, not exactly, but it's essentially, you know, just divided by, or move the decimal point to the left by zero, by two. Oh, I, I don't know if Cam had mentioned this or you just saw that we were going live, but we're also going live at three tomorrow if you can't any. This is true. I wish I could, but um, I'm going to be at, I'm going to be closing at work. At, since it's two, I'll be at work between 12 and nine, my thought. Rip. Yeah. Because I heard you guys. Uh, talk too. <laughs> Trust me, I wish I can come, but yeah. Oh, but you know what we get to do now? Hmm. Chocobos. 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 We got chocobo crap to deal with now. Yeah. Uh, on your way to the next town, you pass a chocobo ranch, and you absolutely have to stop. Because if you don't say quark to the chocobos, you're a monster. <laughs> if you don't do what to the chocobos? <laughs> you can talk to the chocobos outside, and there's the option to go dot 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 or quark. And if you don't say quark to the chocobos, you're a monster. Oh, well, we can't have that, can we? Exactly. <laughs> oh, like how you just have to say that out of context. It's like, okay, sure, why not? Yeah. I mean, this is a JRPG. I'm expecting some wild shit. Especially a JRPG. Like, this game has shown you that it can be very silly, so, like, it's hard to know what's coming. Yeah. It's, it's... FF7 OG is a lot of mood whiplash. <laughs> like, you go from laughing at how corny the game is to being shocked by how, uh... And then grim how, everything is. Yeah, how dreadful, how like, terrifying the situation can be. Yeah. Remake does a good job of keeping the silly without being quite as mood whiplashy, though. Oh, well, that's good to hear. Like, honestly, mood yeah. whiplash is kind of a charming product of the past. Where to be fair, though, yeah. Like, some things that do it really well are old. And some things that don't do it quite as well are newer. I mean, to be fair, story storytelling in games wasn't that big even back in the 90s compared I mean, to our, nowadays. All the Final Fantasy games have stories, and I, it, don't pe don't people really like Final Fantasy VI's story? I thought oh, both Five like and Six were supposed to be uh, fantastic. Yes. Uh, six, seven, and nine, and ten, I think. I know a lot of people, I think some people even said that the 9 was better than 7. I think there's like a like, huge war between like 6 and what I remember, seven. like Final Fantasy 4 is supposed to be the first Final Fantasy with like a decent story. And yeah, then 5 and beyond just... are supposed to be great. Okay, uh, yeah, I think it's like I mean. a typical, to the east, yeah, it's like I a typical, typical thing. Uh, 
I believe we're going downward from where you're pointing. Yeah, you should move the camera. Yeah, you can move the camera here. Oh, Discord just dropped in quality. I thought, wow. Well, so you're going away from Midgar, but also away from... Uh, um. Yeah, that way. It's uh, literally the only way you can go, because every other way will stop you with mountains. So, east. You mean, you said east? I thought you mean east. East. You son of a bitch. M for mermaid, W for Wombo. Patrick, I don't think Wombo's a word. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's a word, SpongeBob. I want to get a pair of melee weapon. East for me, Wombo. Yeah, Barrett has uh, two weapons, I believe, that are melee. The Wrecking Ball and the Scissors. If there's a third one, I don't remember it. I don't think so. Weird that both of them were in remakes, so like, they're going to have to come up with new weapon designs. I look forward to that, though. Yeah. Uh, oh boy, random encounters. You'll love to see it. Alright, hit the runaway button. Still don't know what that is. Why don't you know what it is? You're missing a fan the triggers or something. What's triggers at the same time, I believe? Like maybe both bumpers. I think it's one of the two. at the same time to run away. Okay, not the triggers, but the shoulder buttons. No, it was either the triggers or the bumpers. 